How's it going guys and welcome back to Dipscovery and today I'm doing an unboxing and look at the YHE BP Doctor Pro smartwatch that they sent me over from YHE Technology so let's get to it. Alright guys, so if you're interested in getting one of these watches, don't forget to hit my link in the description and in the pinned comment below because you'll actually get yourself a free uh, additional wrist strap for the watch if you use that link. So anyway, let's get to it. So this is the YHE BP Doctor Pro smartwatch and I'm going to give you a quick unboxing now. Let's see what we get in there. Nice black packaging. Open it up, you've got the nice watch in there as well with the chrome kind of bezel surround. You've got a silicone wrist strap and then obviously you've got your LCD face on the front. So I'm just going to take this out here um, and we'll have a look at the accessories that we get inside the box. So open it up, see what we get. A few things in here that you are going to need to uh, know what they're for. Okay, so the first thing is we've got the BP Doctor Smartwatch Instruction Manual, obviously a uh, guy telling you all the features and all that kind of stuff, how to use the uh, smart monitoring features and that all in there. You've also got yourself a quick start guide if you want to get straight to it, how to set it up, you know, initial setup, all that kind of stuff. It's in full colour as well, tells you how to, uh, you know, take your blood pressure reading, all that kind of stuff in there. Then you've got your um, charging dock. Um, now the charging dot itself isn't actually a magnetic charging dot like you get on some other smartwatches. It's actually a clip-in one, uh, but we're going to have a look at that later, see how it fits in. And then you've got yourself a micro USB Type-C charging cable for the charging dock as well. Um, so it's not, a, actually it's not a Type-C, it's just a normal micro B cable. So, uh, you know, it's a bit strange how they don't upgrade, upgrade the Type-C. Now what you get here as well is a uh, measuring tape. Uh, a guide to put around your wrist to give you the optimal um, tightness um, to have the blood pressure monitor wrist strap uh, activate properly so it tells you how to use the measuring uh, tape there to get the uh, wrist strap at the right setting for your wrist. Okay so this is the watch itself um, it comes in a bit of an oval shape uh, chrome surround uh, black on silver design, got the silicon strap in there, quite a, a nice looking uh, piece of kit. Um, what you need to do is get the phone app, it's called BP uh, Doctor Plus, it's on the App Store. You need to download that and then sync the Bluetooth to the, uh, the watch to the uh, phone using the Bluetooth through the app um, to get it working properly um, and then you're, you're good to go. Quite a straightforward process, didn't have any issues doing it, did it first time, okay? So, why would you want to go for this smartwatch over so many others that are actually out there? The main thing that this is catered to is all about health and fitness. So, um, it's the only smartwatch that exists with a patented um, wrist uh, strap that actually inflates to give you a proper blood pressure monitor reading like you do when you go to the doctors and they put that uh, inflatable strap on your arm to get a blood pressure reading, an accurate reading. This is the only thing that's got a built-in inflatable wrist that, pump, that the uh, watch face pumps air into it uh, as, through its own compressor, inflates and gives you a proper blood pressure monitor reading and that's its key selling point is that you're not gonna get more accurate readings than that because it's got a proper blood pressure monitor sensor in there. So it's all about health and fitness. This is what you kind of want to go for. So let's uh, have a quick look at the general features of the actual uh, watch to see what we get. I'm going to peel off this uh, screen protector on there. Okay, so I've already uh, synced this up now to my um, phone. Uh, so you can see there that you got this uh, watch face, it's got the AMOLED display. Um, we're gonna uh, swipe up, you get messages that you get, so any text messages that might come on your phone will get displayed there. Now you can't actually answer phone calls uh, on this uh, watch, uh, so something to bear in mind. Um, you can only read the text messages um, on there, but that's all you can do. You press this button on the side here, and it actually cycles through uh, the different menu settings uh, on the home home screen. So it goes from 
the watch face there to the quick health settings here like you know blood pressure monitoring spo2 uh you know workout alarm these are all your kind of basic functions of the uh watch itself um, and as you scroll through them in the menus then you can go straight to the actual uh, thing there um, and take the, take the readings you know if you want to so I'm not wearing it actually right now um, but that gives you your heart uh, beat readings and all that kind of stuff um, you can press that button on the side there and it turns the screen on and off and it go, oh, reopens at the last app you were in which is pretty cool so the settings menu here got some basic functions display turn up the screen brightness screen timeout settings all in there um, you've also got oh let me go back there you've also got if you want it always on re race to wake you know change the dial theme so we've got you know the uh, analog style you've also got a digital style I'm gonna put it on the digital one because I think that works quite well with the whole AMOLED effect and then you know and then we've got alerts you can it can set it up so it tells you to move when you need to uh, you know burn some calories and get off your bump um, so if you've been sat down too long uh, got about got device functions all that kind of stuff you know as you'd expect change the languages got the units you can change them between you know uh, metric and imperial all that kind of stuff Fahrenheit Celsius you can do all that um, and that's pretty much it really, so quite a basic settings feature. So like I said, you know, the main menu is all, mainly all about the fitness kind of aspects of it. Yeah, how many calories you burn, keeping track of that. And you also get a lot more in-depth kind of uh, uh, insight into everything there in the app as well. So bear that in mind. So also got HRV monitoring as well. So, you know, you can turn that on when you go to sleep, put, keep the uh, uh, watch on and it'll tell you you know what's going on in your sleep and give you a report in the morning um, which is good to see got the sleep indicator there no sleep on record but obviously you can uh, record all that with there uh, with that as well you can put a set an alarm in there so you know kind of basic functions so like I said the main uh, selling point with this is that blood pressure monitoring system so let's have a look how that works okay so you need to use this uh, measuring tape to find out the optimal wrist strap circumference to get the best reading for the uh, strap. So I'm gonna chuck this on here. Okay, so once you've got this strap on, basically what you wanna do is it tells you to put two fingers there against your wrist and push the measuring tape down below it and that'll give you the right place where you want to actually tighten up and get the uh, correct measurement. So I'm about there. So as you can see here, I'm a number five on the wrist strap so we'll take this off and once you've done that if you have a look on the inside of the actual wrist strap here um, I don't know if it will pick up very well on camera but you can you see how they've all got numbers um, and the numbers correspond to the numbers on the measuring tape so I was a number five so I know exactly that I need to put my hole through that number five uh, the pin through the number five hole so I'm gonna do that now all right so once you've got that on there you will have it's got a little bit of tension to it and I'm not even tightly blowing it up yet but that's supposed to be right it's supposed to be a little bit tight not too loose and flopping around exactly the same as when you go to hospital and the nurse is kind of putting it down to you they do it you know semi tight but not you know loose where it's flopping around to give you the right reading so I've got it on there now so that's what it kind of looks like on the wrist um, just looks like an average Joe normal smartwatch, but the, you can tell that this wrist strap looks like there's something going on a bit more chunkier than, than you'd imagine. Okay, so I'm going to open up the app. Alright, and I'm going to go to the BP monitoring there. You can do that in two ways. So you can have the reading um, if you have to rest your arm uh, in line with your heart. So it gives you the right kind of blood pressure monitoring. Um, so you can maybe rest it on like, I don't know, like say this box for example. You can rest it like that, yeah? Or you could do it like this, where you hold it, you know, there in line with your heart there, and they give you the right reading. So you can do it either like that, where it's rested and, you know, uh, or, or raised up like that. Now the key thing is you need to be relaxed, you need to be chilled out, 
to get the right reading so it's not you know freaking out you can't you can't have been gone for a jog and then do a reading because you need to be arrested reading yeah so I'm going to uh, open that app back up press start and I can immediately feel it starting to inflate okay so you can see here that I've got 107 over 81 I got 57 BPM yeah so that's the record there so I can refer that back to it so 57 is quite low so I'm obviously bare chilled out right now uh, <laughs> so you know uh, nothing to uh, worry about there but they say you know you should probably do it about three times get yourself your average and then figure it out but you know as it kind of did it you could definitely feel the strap working it was inflating tightening up the wrist you could feel it doing something very weird sensation and then after it was finished it, it deflated very very cool stuff and it was quite quiet as well you can't hear like a motor going off going mental so you can do it quite discreetly that's, that's pretty cool to see now other things you can do is do an spo2 reading which you know it just does on the fly you just got to keep still and then it'll do that reading for you as well so 98 percent uh, I don't know if that's good or not, but you know, I think it's alright, it's not 100. Heart rate monitor as well, again, same kind of idea, you need to keep still, they give yourself a reading. So there you go, kicking it, kicking in at 77 BPM, chilled out guy, nothing can phase me, that's why I've got it down as a 73, you know, but it's live, you know, it's constantly giving you that reading, constantly giving you that update. Now, <clears throat> you can also record workouts as well, which is pretty cool, so as you can see here, I've got outdoor walking, I've got indoor running, outdoor running, you know, these different types of things that you can uh, record and keep a record of it, which is kind of cool to see. You know, it counts down once you set it off and then go and it'll start monitoring your whole system, you know, your, your BPM, your heart rate, all that kind of stuff, good information there and you can refer back to it on your subsequent runs to see if you've improved or if anything's getting better. Now here's a look at the calorie counter there. So it tells you how much calories you burn from doing what you were doing, from your workouts, your walks, your BPM, exactly uh, you know, written down there so you can keep an eye on it. It's great, if, again, like I said, it's geared towards fitness, great if you're looking for a fitness kind of pal. And of course, simply, the weather widget tells you what's going on in weather you know, before you head outside and go for your run. So pretty cool stuff. Okay, so I'm just gonna show you this charging dock here. So as I said, this isn't a, a magnetic charging dock. Basically, you got four pins there, and then the pins kind of uh, attach onto the back of the watch there where you got the pins, and obviously that's your kind of sensor there for your, you know, your wrist reading. Uh, but you got four pins there to kind of uh, latch onto. So the basically the way it works is you have to clip it in like that, and then once it's clipped in, it's, it's safe, it ain't going anywhere, you can kind of shake that around, but it's in there solid. Um, so it ain't gonna go anywhere, but it just means that you have to kind of use two hands to kind of get it out and, and pull it in. So, uh, you know, because it hasn't got that magnetic kind of touch, but you know, it's, it's nothing to kind of worry about really. It does the job, keeps it charged and, you know, gives a nice little place. So when you actually put it down on the table there, it lies flat. Um, so, you know, it's not really in the way of anything, you know, it's, it's all nice and neat. Okay guys, so just gonna have a look at the app we've got here. It's actually a really nice app, very clean, um, very well laid out. So what you got here is it tells you the battery at the very top here, 98%. Uh, and then it gives you everything you need to know. So you got your, your BP in there, your SPO2 readings, the history, you know, your heart rate. It tells you all this live data that the watch is feeding back to your phone and telling you all about it. You got your calories in there that you burnt for the day, you work out, how many steps you've done, all accessible. You know, all, all the information that's accessible on the watch is also on the app as well. What's also cool is if you click on your uh, profile settings there, you can customize your, you know, your dial settings in there as well. Um, you've got your uh, watch with your goals. You know, you, there's also a cool thing here. You've got my family and basically what that means is you can actually add in other family members and you can track it all their health uh, readings through the app as well if they uh, follow you on the app as well. What, which, what that means is you know, if you see one of your family members you know, not doing so well uh, with their, you know, their health then you'll be able to track that or maybe if you've got 
uh, maybe an elderly or something like that who uh, you need to monitor their health quite closely because you take care of them and that's what that's there for so it's a really good feature also gives you some blood pressure standard guidelines you know how to read the blood pressure how to make sense of it all which is nice to see and then you can also put in goals as well you know like your step goals your weight goals and you can set all that in there um, to keep help you keep track of everything there so really really nice uh, app and it's great to see uh, all these extra features that you get in there with the BP doctor now one thing that I'd like to mention about the uh, BP Smart Doctor watch is it's not actually IP65 uh, water resistant unfortunately so you can't really submerge this watch which I think is a bit of an oversight for such a fitness orientated watch it would have been good to wear while you're swimming or something like that but unfortunately you can't do that also being the nature of the uh, watch is with the um, inflatable strap is you can't just go out and put whatever strap you want on it to get the full use of it, you need to have the YHE strap. So um, if you ever damage this strap, you're gonna have to buy a new one from YHE. But like I said, I've got a link in the description where the, you'll actually get a free strap, additional strap with this thing if you buy it using my link. So have a look at that. And obviously uh, you won't really have that issue. You'll have another backup strap there. Um, you know to kind of uh, tie you over so that's pretty much it as my unboxing and quite a uh, look at the YHE uh, BP Doctor smartwatch really cool piece of kit if definitely if you if you if the fitness and the health thing if you're looking for a watch that's literally bespoke on that you can't get better than this because it's the only watch with a, a patented built-in uh, you know accurate blood pressure monitor take two readings you get yourself a proper medical grade kind of reading there and that's something that you know not none of the watches get they have like a best guess but this is like as much accurate as you're gonna get um, so yeah thank you very much for watching the uh, unboxing and quick look at this watch if you have any comments let us know in the description and I catch you on the next one